so with this lamp i'm going to actually be changing the color from like a bronze to a silver so what i want to do now is kind of put primer on it because i just noticed that the paint that i bought doesn't have primer so i'm hoping that it sticks because i'm running out of the adhesive primer promoting spray so make sure that when you do yours you should have a promo um a adhesive promoter a primer or that your paint has primer in it so it's going to be two in one coat okay so i put the primer on there it's been sitting for a while and as you can see at the very top i put tape on the uh, base where the the uh, actual bulb goes because i didn't want to destroy that so make sure you take the top part of it off and now i'm about to get into the top the first coat of the silver i'm going to be using this and i'm kind of low on this so i have another it's still the same brand but i have um another metallic that's going to go on the final touch The first coat I don't want to over saturate it with um, paint because I want to allow it to be covered evenly so I'm going to allow this to dry for a bit and I'm going to come back and do the second coat. Okay so now I'm going to be sealing it with this here. You can get any sealer you want, any clear acrylic sealer. Okay, YouTube, so um, let's get into actually adding glitter to this already spray painted silver lamp. So what I'm gonna be using is actually the Mod Podge and it's the, um, the glossy one, the high gloss one. And I have a brush. So I'm gonna start at the very top of it actually. And I'm gonna work my way down. So let's see. This is very messy work, so if you want to wear glasses or surround your room, because anytime you work with glitter, it's going to be messy. So you can surround your area with paper or surround your floor with paper so that way you won't have that much stuff to clean up afterwards or however you plan to do it. But So I'm just trying to do an even coat and making sure it's enough. My Podge along here and then what I'm going to do making sure I go all the way around I'm going to move this over just so it can be in the area of where the camera is so I'm taking my silver glitter because that's the color of choice and I'm going over where the Mod Podge application was made making sure I cover and that's exactly why I painted the bottom part of it silver so just in case I'm not sure I'm not doing a whole bunch of layers on this thing because um, I really hate glitter work so that's why I painted it silver and then once it dries, I'm going to go over the whole thing, but once it dries, I'm going to leave it to dry for about, for about maybe a whole 24 hours. Yeah, I think that'll be good. 24 hours. And then I'm going to go over it with some clear glue. So let's continue this process.
Okay, so what I'm going to do now is allow this to dry for 24 hours. Um, if I need to come through and do some, like, some little work to patchwork, get out of here now. If I need to go through this and do some patchwork on here, then I would do that. I'm going to let it dry for 24 hours, though, and look at it, look over it and see if I need to add any more glitter. If not, we'll proceed with the next step. All right, I'll let it dry for 24 hours. All right, bye-bye. Okay, so as you can see, here's the actual almost finished lamps. And I'm going to do an after picture, but to seal it, this is what I use. Um, it's some um, gray silver clear glue. You can find silver, gold, pink. Those are the common colors in almost any craft store. Um, if you want to actually um, use another color besides the common colors, you're going to have to probably find some clear glue and mix the glitter in and make it yourself. Or you can use some E6000 glue, which is very thick, but it will um, cover the surface of the glue. I mean, cover the surface of the glitter, which will um, prevent the glitter from falling off. Or you can do a bunch of coats of that clear sealer, which I did in the beginning of the video. But this is pretty much the final result. I'm going to show the before and after picture. For the lampshade, I actually ended up purchasing a brand new one from Walmart since I was trying to refurbish the old one by painting it with silver spray paint and it did not come out right at all. It looked terrible. So I just decided to spend about $20. I think they cost about maybe $15 each. And um, I got new, new lamp covers. So. so it's totally up to you if you decide to buy a new one or try to refurbish with maybe glitter. So this is the after, I showed the before, this is pretty much the after, after everything has been done, these are like my designs that I've done, um, I think this should go correlated with the mirror video, so you'll see this, you already know how to design this and how to make this, um, just pretty much changed the whole living room setup. Change the colors to get some new energy, different type of energies in here. And then I'll put a link below as to how you can do this glitter lamp. <laughs> My baby's even excited. How you can do this glitter lamp here. Very cute. So leave your comments below on what you've done to change your living space to make it more um, bright, more uh, stylish, decorative, whatever, okay? Bye.